All right, welcome everyone. Today I'll be showing you how you can install Notion on Linux, which is a note-taking application. Um, and for this, we'll be using a web browser called Epiphany. And if you don't know what Epiphany is, it is basically a GNOME-centric uh, web browser designed to be cohesive with the rest of the GNOME desktop. And the reason why we will be using this browser is because it allows us to create uh, web applications. So that is, you know, the application is installed on your system, all sandboxed. Uh, however, it's you can launch it as a separate instance. So not as a browser tab, but as a window on itself. So if you're on uh, Ubuntu or Fedora or whatever distribution that has a package manager like this one, GNOME software, you can just type in Epiphany or GNOME Web and it will come up. Uh, the other way is to open up your terminal. Um, I also have a blog article which you can refer to if you're not sure how to use it. Um, so since I'm on Fedora, it'll be sudo dnf install epiphany. epiphany. Um, it's already installed on my system. If you're on Ubuntu, it'll be, um, let's make it a bit bigger. Install epiphany browser. And Pac-Man Arch users, you know, you all know what to do. Um, so yeah, once installed, uh, all you've got to do is just open it up, and you just present it with a, you know, it's a typical browser, so you can go anywhere. I'll just go to my website. Uh, let's make it bigger. Uh, font rendering is a bit off, but basically I've made a little article here as well, if you prefer the text guide. Um, it's very straightforward, so we'll get right into it. So what you want to do is you want to go to Notion. So, so just log in. Um, you'll get thrown into your. Once you're logged in, of course, you'll get thrown into your homepage or whatever it is. This is my account here. And what you want to do is you want to click on these three dots here, and click on Install Site as Application as Web Application. So you click on this, and you get presented with a dialog. And basically, give it whatever name you want. I'm just going to stick with Notion. It's got a nice icon that's detected, the fav icon, and just click create. Now I've already have it installed, so I'm just going to replace it. And it's added right there, Notion. So I can close this, and I'll just uh, hit super, and type in Notion. Of course, if you're on a different desktop environment, it should be in your start menu or whatever. There you have it, a separate standalone window. As you can see in my uh, dock, there's a little Notion icon here. I've pinned it. So I'll just log in here now. And there we have it. Um, so now, that's it basically. Uh, your Notion is um, going to be a standalone, standalone application. And all you gotta do is just, so if you close it, just launch it anytime you want. Simple as that. There it is. It'll launch. And yep, so this is isolated from the rest of your system. Um, if you decide to use Epiphany uh, for anything else, browsing the internet, um, it's going to keep the cookies isolated from these two instances. So, you know, if you don't want your Google logins, you know, mumbling up uh, tracking your notion history or whatever you know this is a good way of separating it and you also get a somewhat native application and it works pretty well too um, I might add uh, you know they've done a good job in handling um, or supporting epiphany here as you can see all the right click works and yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching everyone um, hope you find it useful cheers